Welcome back. In this video, um, we're going to touch on a new concept. Last time, if you recall, we touched on the future value of an annuity. In this video, we're going to talk about the present value of an annuity. So last time we worked forward, um, and this time we work back. When we work forward, we use compounding, and when we work backwards, we use discounting. And so I want to first explain to you what is an annuity. Okay, an annuity, annuity is a series of equal payments for a specified period of time. And if you look at this problem, it says, what is the present value of a five-year annuity having annual payments of $360 evaluated at 8.5%? Okay, so we have an annuity by definition. We have annual payments that are equal and they're for a specified amount of time, which is five years. And that's significant because any time that there's an annuity, there's a little bit of a shortcut in solving an annuity problem. And we'll get into that shortly. So let's solve this problem. We want to calculate a present value. So with Excel, we need to open up a function box for present value and click OK and we're going to put in our rate and we can put in 8.5 percent and we're going to put in our term which is five years and then our payments is a negative because it's out of our pocket is $360 in each of the five years and we'll click OK and there you have the answer. In other words, an annuity of $360 at 8.5% for five years is worth $1,418.63 today. And I want to show you how this works on a timeline. So let me get my pen back here so I can draw a timeline. And I'll put it right down here. And I get five periods. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is time zero. This is time one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we know our interest rate is 8.5%. I'm just going to put that on the timeline. So it's nice and clear and we don't forget about it. So we have 8.5%. And then we have our payments. And each year, at the end of the year, we've got to pay And what we're solving for is to see what all this is worth over here, which is what our 14, 18, 63. Okay, so that's how we do it in Excel. That's how we lay it out on the timeline. But I want you to also understand the formulas. So let me put in how to calculate a future value, not a future value, a present value interest factor of an annuity. So that's PVIFA for a certain percentage over a specified time. Okay, in order to figure this out, what we need to do is solve the present value equation, which is PV equals FV times 1 that should be divided I gotta erase that as long as I got this out oh that's okay that's even better so we're going to take uh, 1 and divide it by 1 plus r, which is our rate, to the nth power. 
And another way you can write that is, um, let's do it like this, which equals, and this is just the simplified version of this. I need my eraser again. Okay, we take our future value times 1 divided by, I didn't want to do that, get rid of this. times 1 plus r to the nth power. And this is going to be a negative power. you got to get that eraser. I want, it, want you to be able to remember it. And if you can't see what I wrote, you can't remember it. Okay, it's minus n. And that's the same thing as 1 divided by. You notice we didn't divide 1 by this part of the formula over here. All we did is multiply these two pieces. So that's what we want to do here. So let's do it for our formula here. We started out with a future value. And we have to set, to get a, a future, a, a present value factor, we have to set the future value equal to 1 and multiply that times 1 divided by and this is going to be 1.085 to the first power and if we do that and if you do this on your calculator you should get 9.9217 okay and I've rounded it Okay, and then you go to the next one, which is going to be 1 divided by 1.085 to the second power. And if you calculate that on your calculator, you should get 8496. And we'll do the next one. This will be to the third power. If you calculate this one out, you should get 0 0.7831. And you do the next one. This is 1 divided by. Okay, 1 divided by 1.085 to the fourth power. That's going to give us. 0.7215 and the last one's 1 divided by 1.085 to the fifth power and if you calculate that one out you'll get 0 0.6649 now if you add all these up you should get 3.941 I think it is and so then if you take go back to up here the only part we haven't done is we haven't taken our, our future value which is 360 we need to take our 360 and multiply that times our this is our again this is our present value interest factor of an annuity at eight and a half percent for five years. So that's our, our factor. And a factor is something you can multiply with. So three nine four one goes up here. And if you do this, you should get 1418.68, I believe it is. 
which if you look at what we had here is we've got a five per five cent difference so you can either use um, a present value table for annuities and find this factor if you look it up in the table or you can use Excel and I think Excel's a little easier but I just wanted you to understand how to do it either way okay so that's it we'll see you in the next slide